I'm going to demonstrate alternate methods of making fitting covers out of elastomeric foam pipe insulation. We're going to make a two-piece 90, a three-piece 90, and a three-piece T. Once again, we use a very sharp knife. We use the template that comes on every box of, of insulation. First, the two-piece 90 is cut on this 45-degree angle, and then a straight cut. There, it's a two-piece 90. To cut the three-piece 90, we line up with the 22 and a half degree angles, and without moving the pipe insulation, move over and cut it there, and then another straight cut. And there we have the three-piece 90. To cut the three-piece T, it's a multiple 45 degree cuts. Cut one. Cut two. And here we have a three piece T. Then we use a special fabricating adhesive. It's a contact cement, it's solvent based, used in a well ventilated area only. We use this adhesive to assemble the fittings. This could be the most critical part about putting the fittings together. It's just a, a very thin film, 100% coverage. And the bond will actually become stronger than the insulation itself. This is not typically used successfully with the hardware brand types of, of foams. Is there a foam plastic? This is a foam rubber. The adhesives should be dry to the touch and should make a small snapping noise when I take my finger off of it. You use your fingernail to check the adhesive, not your finger, because oil would come off your finger and it wouldn't stick right there. Then simply line your pieces up, press them together, and there's a nice fitting. Then they're slit, usually in the throat, to be installed. It'd be a two piece. That would be the three piece. And then the three two piece T is slit in the back and installed like so. And that's how we would make a fitting on copper tubing for sizes larger than three quarter inches. And that's all there is to it.